The new Passat is also equipped with Park Assist. Park Assist is a sensor-assisted automatic parking feature. It offers two parking options. You can use it in parallel as well as perpendicular parking. Park Assist will help you park your car in tight spaces with clearance of just 40 centimeters on either side. But I'll let P2 show you how it works. Once you are nearing your destination where you need to find a parking amongst other parked cars, all you need to do is press this Park Assist button while you're in the drive mode. But before you press the button, just look out and see the style in which other cars are parked. Are they parked parallel to the road or perpendicular? If you need to find a parking amongst other parallel cars, then press the Park Assist button once. And if the parking is perpendicular, then press it twice. What this button does is that it activates the sensors located outside the car and the Park Assist technology starts scanning the road for an available space in parking. The scanning is displayed in the multifunctional display. Once an appropriate space is located, the system will indicate it. To accept that option is the driver's choice. Once the sensor finds an adequate parking space, a letter R will be inscribed on the car graphic in the display. This is a prompt that means the car needs to be put in reverse gear. Once the reverse gear is put, the display will show the sign steering intervention safe to move. The system display will start showing the space behind the car. The sensors will show the distance between the car and the external object, but since the reverse gear is active, the car will continue to go back. So what the driver needs to do once the car has moved in sufficiently is to apply the brakes. While negotiating the park assist, one will notice colored rear camera view lines in the display. They are amber, green, and red. The amber lines display the steering movement. The green depicts the parking slot as identified by the sensor. The red depicts the closeness of the car from the external objects. So when the red lines get too close to other objects, one must change course to prevent a collision.